Welcome to part 2 of my 3D printer build log. Without much talking, we will continue straight away by assembling the Y-axis. As you can see, the y-axis works well, so we can carry on with the x-axis.
This seems like a nice print head, but do you know what's even better than one good looking print head? Two good looking print heads. My plan is to use the left one as a master print head. So whenever I'm running a print which only needs one extruder, just this one will be active. In case I need two extruders, the master can clamp to the slave print head, use it to print with a second material and move it back to its parking position when it has finished. This clamping is done by using the electromagnet in the back of the carriage. Additionally, the hot end of the slave is installed slightly lower than the other one. This makes sure that the nozzle of the inactive master print head is out of the way when the slave is printing and won't scrape on the printed object. Of course there are also other great solutions for dual extrusion, but for me this one seemed like the easiest one to build and to use. We will see if this is true in the upcoming videos. Here you can see the nearly finished print heads with the cooling fans as well as all the cables. Last thing to do for now is to install the end stops for all three axes so we can concentrate on the wiring and electronics in the next part.